Tacticam 5.0 GoPro Hero 7. Okay, let's stop the video right there. I know what you're thinking. The Tacticam clearly is better because the GoPro looks like I'm shooting from 60 yards away. And although it might be cool to fool my friends and make them think that I shot this buck at 60 yards, it might also be cool to be able to see that buck. So, if you want to be able to see the deer, go with the Tacticam because it's zoomed in on the animal. So I'm shooting in 4K and let me show you a trick here with my GoPro footage. All we're gonna do is use our video editing software to crop our 4K image down to 720. And then we zoom in on the animal. We can center it up. And we now have the exact same zoom as the Tacticam. Testing, one, two, three, check, check, check. 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 So another thing I noticed with the Tacticam is it really blows out the greens. I don't know why it does this or if there's a way to fix it, but I am able to edit that with video editing software. We're able to get that picture looking from this, which is before, to this. I'm not super happy with it, so I'm going to adjust it a little bit better um, after the video to polish it up a little bit to where the GoPro does a pretty good job giving a, a good representation of what the actual color is. The last thing with the GoPro, which is a huge advantage, starting at the GoPro Hero 7, they've really ramped up their image stabilization. Every little kind of bump or small little movement or vibration on the Tacticam really magnifies that shaking. Now, we had the GoPro attached pretty poorly to the bow. Um, it's not at all how I would set it up on, if I was actually hunting with it attached to the bow and it was wobbling around like crazy when we'd move the bow. But the image stabilization inside of the GoPro was taking that footage and taking out all those little movements, all those little shakes, and really gives us a much, a far better, smoother video than the Tacticam does, which is shaking quite a bit. And at some point, if you're moving just a little bit too much, the footage can become unusable. If you decide that you want to pick up either a GoPro or a Tacticam, I have links down below in the description to both. Or head over to my channel, check out my hunting videos, and see how we are using both the GoPro and the Tacticam for our footage today. Thanks for watching.